Now, there's an argument I hear a lot, and it's that anarchism is guilty by association. What I mean is that anarchism will fail, or that someone doubts that anarchism will succeed because people look at it based on its contemporary definitions. And when you look at the fact that words change over time, you can sort of realize that ideologies don't really change over time. Granted, that's an overgeneralization. Tons of ideologies change over time. But the words don't determine that. Libertarianism changed over time. I'm a libertarian. That's proof of enough. Anarchism has changed over time via definitions. But the definition which I speak of and its meaning, while that has changed, it's pretty dumb because look at this. The word atheism has been used to describe the denial of anything supernatural. Yet at the same time, this has led people into thinking that atheism is a very small number in beliefs. And that maybe it's an idea that has only multi million followers. When I can guarantee you it has over billions of followers. Why? Because atheism isn't the denial of all supernatural. And when you realize this, Buddhists are also atheists. Why? Well, let me generalize and say that the definition of atheism just denies the standard belief of God. Where you can, or if someone asks you, do you believe in God, you'll say yes. If it's a different answer or more complicated than that, then it's atheism. So there's over billions of atheists because Buddhists technically count as atheists. Since their perspective of any deity or authority that's supernatural it tends to be complicated very complicated. And the same could be said about anarchism. There could be more or less anarchists in my definition and a difference in growth where the real atheists under my non-contemporary bias are growing. Perhaps the real non-contemporary def uh, defined anarchists they could be growing or shrinking. Who knows? All I know is that anarchism won't fail because it's guilty by association. Anarchism is going to succeed or fail based on its implications of reality. And that I strongly believe.